Welcome Hello. to Zero Page Homebrew, Hello. your best source for the newest Atari games, except in After Now, yeah. <laughs> where we're going to be playing the oldest Atari games, Yay. specifically from 1988 and 89. Okay. Uh, we are celebrating the 7800's 40th anniversary mm -hmm. uh, part two Yay. out of three. Um, we're going to be playing 20 games today in quick succession. Nice. Giving about five minutes a game. That's pretty short. Yep. Hopefully get get a taste, a taste of the game. A little, a tiny, tiny, tiny taste. I'm sure there's um, a lot of sports games in there, so I'll be, five minutes is plenty. Yeah, so, there's a bunch of least. sports games. Yep. There's two baseball games. Yep. There's a football. There's a wrestling. Mm. There's a bunch of flight simulator games. Oh, it's going to be a bit of a mess. Yeah. Because these all involve tactics and multiple controls. <sighs> Very hard to learn them in five minutes. So I've yeah. got some printouts. We might be able to take off in that time on the flight simulators. <laughs> we might be able to fumble a football. Yeah. Um, but there's other there's other games as well. Um, so first, let's say thank you to all the Twitch subscribers. Yay, subscribers. Ninja Golf is not today. Not it's today. Next time. next time, Joey Bites. Welcome. Uh, I want to thank 8 Bit Poet, Andrew Atari, Atari 800 XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari HBR Pocock, Bruno Stacks, Captain Classic, Charles Mile, Charles Will, Charles Will, Chitla, Dianoid, Duck Moo Cows, Glenn Main, Great Defender, Grand Trooper, Araldo Ju, Johnny WC, Computer Coder, Carl G, Karakak, Trotty Code 2600, Gveltfer, Lambda Express, Mad Max, Mandy Sipping, Team Mark, Yannis, Mark Space, Inc., Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Thomas, Fix, Nathan Storm, Neomedia, Nostalgic, Pseudographics, Co 2600, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, Feed You, Revan Tooley, Smitty B, Spice Wars, Spinley, Esmers, D Train, Tiki Dan K, Trekham Day, Tweeny, Vexarx, Fiji, Double Down, X, Ken X, Zombie Alice. Yay! And I want to thank Dan ABC for uh, resubscribing Yay, at the Dan. top of the show. All your names are Down here, scrolling in the bottom corner here. Slowly in the bottom corner. There we go. Double video in uh -oh. stereo. Wow. Did you cross your eyes and do like I know. I'd be like pseudo you could, 3D? Yeah, it could be like um, VR if There's you if you play your cards right. Two yeah. Atari cats? That's a lot of Atari cats. <laughs> oh, too many. That's too many. Too many. I don't want to feed two of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Um, so we went to the Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo we in the weekend. We did. Um, we'll talk a little bit about that. As we're playing, as yes. As we're playing. Yeah. As we get into games that we kind of know a little bit. Some of them are going to be in a panic. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, I have, I've never really delved in and played any of the old games. because we Really? play i mean i'm familiar with some of them yeah yeah some of them i played on the um 2600 some i played on the commodore because they were in multiple platforms in that era so yeah so you played other versions but some not some of them yeah. some of them i played some other versions so mm. but uh that's why we're playing them now uh kind of get familiar with them because we play mm. homebrew on this show we don't play old games we well play and i can new games. honestly say the only 7800 games i've ever played are on this show so if yes. we haven't played it on the show then i have not played them before there you I, go. i've never had a 7800 so uh nope yeah nope uh, uh, Crunch the Clown says, I got my 40th anniversary 7800 shirt. There you go. You did? <laughs> where, where, where are they selling those? <laughs> Excellent. Um, so, first... Rating! Oh my gosh! Welcome. Hey, Sega Nick! Welcome, Sega Nick! And party of 25! We are just <laughs> about to start... Oh my gosh! Playing... Wait, wait. Party, time for party time for kittens. Oh, cat, we're cat, just cat. about to give cats... <laughs> The cat, some catnip. Okay, apparently. Atari gets catnip first. Yes. Are you ready for some catnip? Are you ready? All right. Here we go. I'll switch over the camera. So Welcome, we are readers. we we do actually play games on the show, but um, first uh, we're gonna give cat. This is our cat Atari. Yep. And, and he's uh, gonna get some catnip. He likes to get treats and catnip, so we're gonna give him some catnip right now. And Gamma Dev just gave him some catnip. Thank you so much, Gamma Dev. I just beat that system. How are you doing? Yeah. I had the 7800 when most else had the NES pack rat said, wow, uh, you're an outlier. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, most people had an NES. It came out um, around the same time. Um, it was originally scheduled for 1984. Mm. Um, it did come out very small amounts in 1984. 
and then but came out too late. Then two years later, Mass in 1986. Yes, uh, which was entirely too late at too that point. Too late. Uh, the NES had taken a foothold at that point, and they were releasing ancient, at like ancient, sometimes seven-year-old games mm. on a new console, which really didn't help sell it. Um, so yeah. yeah, it was it was a tough go, let's say, for the 7800. And we've been through the first 20 games. First 20 games. Now we're in the second 20 games. Second 20 games. 19 after. 19 okay. Games so after really that. not a trim. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. Oh, you just flipped over just as you, he was oh. beginning to, to roll around okay, there. Okay, you roll around. Yeah, that's okay. We're, we're going to start with our games. <laughs> Here he goes. You roll around. Let's get the joystick and fire up some games. Yes. There's your controller kitties. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's where Crunchy the Clown lives. Yeah. I had Sega Nick. <laughs> Did you bring people over? Well, thank you for bringing people over. Thank you, Sega Nick. And for Crunchy raiding. the Clown for coming back. Yep. Okay. Let's uh, switch over to the games. Um, and we have all the games in a direct maybe mm -hmm. thank you for suggesting it to, to them <laughs> so the first game uh lives up to its name it is impossible mission oh actually. i love it um it was released there's dis ninja golf sorry not today but no. uh my goodness did i just go right past it yes apparently i can't yeah there she we go she doesn't know the alphabet yet yeah, but it's no, okay i'll this figure it out time to one of these years it. Um, um, um it was developed by man develop corporation yep Load it up. Yeah, I click the wrong button. Just keep. Yeah, you click the wrong button. Can go I hit to it return. Again? No, or you can go to start oh game. Goodness. What is going on? She doesn't know how to use joystick either. It's okay, folks. We'll get there. Left joy. Left button. That's what I hit. Let's see what's going on here. <laughs> mm. Oh, did I hit the side button? She hit the side. Button. There we go. That's why. Oh no, it's supposed to be on two. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, it's very, it's very, let's restart this. <laughs> it's being very naughty. Isn't I don't know. Is that a 2600 controller? Uh, it is a multi-controller. <laughs> BBG has, says. It has two buttons. Uh, you made it, so you should know. <laughs> he, he's, he, uh, BBG is saying that's a 2600 controller. Is it no good for a 7800? Oh, no. There you go. No, it's fine. We it's just fine. didn't have it set. Oh, there you go. For the 7800. Silly ass. <laughs> All right. Okay. Can I start? Yes, please start. Now we'll get the timer up and going, and I will adjust all the volumes. What is the what is going on here? Where's the jumping? B2? Are you sure this Read is the, the right controller? Oh, okay. Well, we won't be playing with this. I swear we <laughs> were playing just fine with it the other day. But I guess not. Something is not jumping. Oh, Sega Nick. Well, I haven't played the 7800 version all that extensively, but this is probably my favorite game uh, for the Commodore 64. So, there we go. So, um, What's the jumping? One of those buttons. Nope, neither of those buttons. What is happening here? I don't know what's happening. That's not a very uh, effective game. <laughs> 2600 8-bit links. Oh, okay. Maybe because it was booted with that joystick, it's like, you only have oh, one button. Maybe. Try it again. Let's see if we can jump. There's no point in playing Impossible Mission if you can't do the little loop-de-loops. Yeah. The little flips. Well, you're not going to get far either. Do I have to be in the room? No. Oh, that's what it is. That's the problem. No, it, it, it only uses one button. Oh, it's up? Up for jump? Sorry, is it up for jump? No, it only uses one button. Oh, so. oh okay. How do you get the menu up then? Uh, you can only do it in the hallway. Oh, because you don't need to jump. Oh, why? I guess it copied the one button control from the, from the C64. I was trying to think the C64, I guess... You access that screen using CPS. That's fine. Um, so wrong there. on the 7800, it actually does live up to his name. Like I was saying, this game is impossible. 
to the fleet on the 7800 oh, NTSC. Yeah. Um, because they hid one of the puzzle pieces behind a computer. Did they know? Which uh, doesn't make for a good gaming experience, because we need that. Very different looking than the Very, very different looking. Shame you can't finish it, or or can you finish it only if the puzzle piece isn't hidden, or is the puzzle uh, is it all always the same? Uh, uh, well, that's sucky, isn't and it? I, and I read even a reviewer chastised a gamer saying that they just didn't know how to play at the time. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Which is crazy. <laughs> Sam Tramiel, QA is for wimps. Yeah, why? What? We know it works on other platforms. We're not gonna. We're not gonna. We don't need to test this. We've got the timer going now. So this game was released on the Commodore 64, Acorn Electron, Amstrad CPC, Apple II, Atari 7800, BBC Micro, Master System, and ZX Spectrum. And my notes say, the Atari 7800 version of the Impossible Mission is actually impossible. And that it is completely impossible to finish the game. A bug in the game's code made it so that uh, some of the like puzzle that. pieces you need to complete the game were placed beyond the computer terminals. Unfortunately, it's impossible to search computer terminals. As attempting to do so will access them instead of searching. The bug was fixed in the PAL release of the game. And you can download versions of this game. Um, download the version of this game that is fixed, and then you can play it on your mic. Oh, they did fi uh, fix the game, Double Down. Oh, don't just speed uh, run to death. No, no. Just that. Uh, I know I'm not going to get very far with this, so... Their colors are so They're different. very different. The backgrounds are different. Yeah, I kind of like the robots. They're a really neat design. It is the same... The graphics for the things you, s yeah, all the all the rooms would be different. All the rooms are the same, and all the graphics for the things you search seem to be the same so far. Um, even the cigarette machine. <laughs> it's a piano. Is it? No. I was, that's what it's I always thought. It's a player thought. piano because it's got a quarter insert on this. Probably end up falling on that, that guy. Oh well, I don't care. French of the Clown says, I had no clue to play this game until I watched you guys play it. I appreciate it much more. Yeah, it's a great platform and puzzle game. Eh, whatever. <laughs> not completing the game <laughs> it's anyway. Funny. It's not so good. I need a couple of practice rounds before I remember how to play all the games. Yeah. I think it's because I was going like this. But if you're walking and you can, you can oh, jump. Oh, you can jump. Yeah, okay. so I you just, just, forgot, how just forgot how to play <laughs> after all those years. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. Turn the video. Oh, the bit. Oh, I had, it up. I had it up for other reasons. Sorry about that. Thank you. Did you notice that? Was Same mistake twice. Game Terrible. volume was very, very loud. Thank you for letting me know, Double Down. The character looks like... Graphics from King's Quest. Come on. Okay. Oh, you have the that open there. Do I? Oh. That's about to go on the ground. Your foot there. Yeah. <sighs> That's no good. That spilled all over the ground. That's hey, kittens. I think I have any. Crunchy TIA. Sometimes TIA sounds work really well, especially with sound effects. Like 
Yeah. Elevator sounds great. Oh, it's got a spinning wheel. Does that have it on the C64? I don't think so. I don't I think, think it's it a little bit more basic on the C64. Oh, Ooh, that's fast, isn't it? Oh, straight down the line. Oh, yeah, you have put in order. Yay! That's two. That's two. That's enough. I don't know. That's <laughs> what you get. Yeah. Do, do, do. Pausing robots are always nice. Oh, All right. Well, time that was... Is up. Good times. Good times. Next one on the docket is F-18 Hornet from Absolute Entertainment, mm. which is now reformed to Audacity. Because that was David Crane's um, company, F-18, F-18. Hornets, Sorry, right at the top. I was looking to see how it was whoops, uh, spelled. D- released in December 1988. Some of these are kind of like, eh, we don't really know the date. It was sometime around there Ooh. for Christmas. Um, so, F-18 Hornet. Sounds like the beginning of 19... 42. 42, one of those? Listen this might have been... Yeah, the drums. The drums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was programmed by John Van Ryzen. Oh, nice. Who we had on the show. Yes, he two did. Ep- two, three episodes ago. Nice. Um, so start it up. Oh, it says right on the screen. Uh, go to mission two. And that has planes in it. Okay. So we're going to West Germany. Very North nice. Atlant- via the North Atlantic Ocean. Warsaw Pact forces have. Oh. Have something. Sorry, okay. I should have hit up. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, okay, oh. so uh, forward starts the engine, increases the throttle. Yeah. Um, You're going to have to be faster. I'm going to hit end of runaway here. It doesn't say how to... Oh, select landing gear up and down. Do I have to... Well, we need to take off first. Nope, there. nope. Pull back. No. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Hit, hit ah! the wall. <laughs> back oh decreases throttle when flying and reverses thrust if jet is on the ground. Left button. Uh, let's see. Climbs if flying. Climbs? If flying. How do you take off? Forward moves forward. So you have to. Left button off? So I think you have to press the left button and, and pull back. Left and back. Okay. Yeah. So try that. Yep. AWOL. <laughs> AWOL? No, you're in the plane. Yeah. They know where you are. <laughs> Not a mystery. So forward and then left button, bottom yeah. button and back? Yeah. Am I going? Am I even? Your speed says zero? <sighs> No, other button. That's the missile. Oh. Now I'm just draining fuel, but I'm not getting off the ground. What the hell is going on? Okay. What? What is happening here? That's definitely fast enough to go more than 0.01 nope. meters per second. Back just just stops. Oh, oh, your speed went up a bit. And I stopped moving though. Going back just stops you. You That's... increased thrust on the last run. How did you? How was it no, not? I didn't increase thrust. I stopped. Oh, there you go. There you go. Now your speed's going up. Okay. There you go. Am I taking off? Try back. Without there we the go. Button. Oh, no. Nope. No. Nope. Oh, nope. let, let go of the button. Ah. You're not helping me here. Well, <laughs> the instructions are terrible. You increase thrust on the last run. So you push the button seems to... In- Let's see if we can figure this out between now and the next minute. Okay, so forward. Like I said, uh, simulation games are not going to go well. Speed. I don't understand if this is doing anything at all. Well, you're going faster. Not very fast, but... Oh. Nope, that's oh. just slowing me down. Nope. And that The back does not. This just slows you down. Sorry, John. No, none of this. Is 
So it, it's a throttle when the left button is pressed and as a control yoke when the left button is not pressed. So do I pull back then? So definitely button and forward is the engine. Well, yeah, that we figured out, but then how do forward, you take off? Forward, moves forward if taxiing, dives if flying. Back, turns jet around if on the ground, climbs if flying. Yeah, so if on the ground, you pull back, it's that's Without not helpful. Button. So then how do you just keep taking off? So if I just... All the time trying to fly. So it's the button and forward. That's I'm just going to hold this the whole time and hope I take off. And then I think it's back without the button. I don't think you do anything. Well, you hit the wall Shouldn't last I just time. take off? Do something. There's oh, nothing well. to do. Next game. That was very sad. I'm going to actually try because that's not good. Button and stick is thrust, but then I'm not getting off the ground. Oh, well. I'm sure there's... You're still trying? Yeah. Because we didn't even take off. Well, terrible. Uh, there's got to be a... Did you just hit the other button? Oh! Now you're taking off! How did you do that? I just pulled back. So you just pulled back? Like on a normal plane. Do you let, were you holding the button or no? No, I took my hand off the button. Okay, that's what you... Because I, I had my hand on the button, so... That's why it wasn't going anywhere. At least you're moving. Oh, there's a plane. Take out that bridge. <laughs> is, that, is that the mission? 18 missiles. Seven. We have to take the landing gear up. Oh, the landing gear is up. Oh, it's automatic, I guess. Yeah. Airborne! Yay! Oh, I hit the ground. What? Didn't look like it. Or I hit something. Or something hit me. Okay. We took off. We're I can't to, fly. Uh, what, we're going to go to the next I one. <laughs> it is pretty neat looking, though. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad for a, for a flight simulator. Not bad. Next one's Mario Brothers, which uh, we do know how to play. Do we? I'm going to switch these over. Mm. So use the left, actually. Once I switch them over. So we can both play. up to change to two players and we'll go standard. So this is also December 1988, developed by International Technology Development. Um, it was also put out on, yep, started up, uh, arcade, Atari 2600, Atari 5200, Atari 7800, Atari 8-bit, PC-88, FM7, Commodore 64, NES, Amstrad, CPC, ZX, Spectrum, Game Boy Advance. found the turtle have a big floppy upper lip in this game. Uh, yeah, they're, they're so tiny. weird looking. Oh! Don't hit the pow! Sorry! Apologies. Oh, boy. All beginners seem to have very good aim for the pow. <laughs> they have no animation telling you that they're going to get up. Which is pretty annoying. I would not say this is a great version of Mario Brothers, comparing it to even like the C64. Uh, it's it's better than the 2600 version, but only in graphics. Mm. The the um, the physics in this are. And um, the new version, the homebrew version of this is spectacular. Excellent, yeah. Spectacular. Oh, that was very lucky. Hey, <laughs> getting all my points. You can grab that. Ah! Did not, could not control <laughs> which way I bounced there. No. I kind of bounced you up. Sorry. Okay. 
Ah, I was gonna bounce ah, it. You hit me. Ah, now we both died. No. no. Oh my god. It's way better than my mini brother's ten liner. Yeah, but you made that in ten lines. Watch out, he's coming for ah! you. <laughs> I couldn't. I was trying it to figure out which way. It doesn't show bite he, animation he either. Jump. Anyway. Pow looks all mucky, all squished, but as best you can do in that tiny little this button. Start again. Yeah. <laughs> like that you can push me. Push. <laughs> you hit the pow to screw your friend. Yeah, yeah pretty, pretty much. much. Yeah, that's that's what the pow is useful for. Get him. No. Nah. Right, get a run and jump. Ah! Oh, you screwed me. <laughs> Collect. Yeah. High five. I mean, it's not terrible version. Of it's it. totally playable. It's very playable. I've played it's just worse. Kind of janky, stilted, stiff. Coming out your side. Is he? Get it. Yeah. Ah, uh, the green thing is gonna get me. You get it. You get it. Oof. Quick, get it. Get it. Can't Hurry. Just yet. Hurry. Can't just oh yet. no! Oh. I thought it was gonna hit the side. Nuts. Ah. Oh. Ah! <laughs> They're so mean. The crabs are so mean. They are. <laughs> I got it. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Next game is. Super Skateboarding by Absolute Entertainment, December 19. Super Skateboarding. 88. 88. Wow. And this is by David Patrick Crane. Is this an exclusive? I couldn't find any information. Was it on another system? Not sure. Super Skateboarding is a game where a young skateboarder is hired by his dad's company to do what he does best. Skateboard! Your job is to navigate the many rooms of the factory. Jump in. Start. We only have a couple minutes. Yes, you have to use the button. Yeah, grab your skateboard and get moving. Oh, your points are going up doing nothing. Oh, turn off the light bulbs. Jump over pipes. Oh, your skateboard. Um, navigate the many rooms of the factory and turn off all the electrical equipment. So you got all the light bulbs. That's good. Oh, did to turn off that? Oh, it's on. All right, now it's off. S games were strange in the 80s. <laughs> Super strange. How do we go up levels? Uh, oh, I lost my skateboard. Guess you gotta get so back funny. in. What? <laughs> Was there an elevator? Those tubes look like something. Oh, oh. I turned it on. Gotta just barely touch it, I guess. Okay, those light bulbs are off. Oh, that tube. Duck down. Nope, too late. There you go. How does physics work? We don't know. Oh, there's lots of levels. Um, turn off the electrical equipment in 15 minutes or else your electricity bill will skyrocket. Your wage is based on how fast you complete the task. Oh my gosh. See, all you really need to do is find the circuit breaker. But I guess there's other things in the building that you don't want off, like all the production. <laughs> Crunchy the Clown says, that's they cute. were, and that's what makes them great. Yep, that is what makes them great. Oh, two out of three. Three out of three. No! Do you have to be on your skateboard? Yes. To turn them off? Your skateboard has magical powers. <laughs> <laughs> so that's counting it's pretty up cute. at five minutes. You definitely have been playing for five minutes. So every time you must. Oh, there's a computer playing some sort of. Uh, oh, how do you get to that one? 
I don't even know I guess what level can, I'm on anymore. You can tell by the doors. Oh, go down. Turn off that copy. It's playing a wave file. Oh, that printer's going nuts. Oh, no. Uh, I guess it's like a every time you pass it, it turns... Oh, you don't have to be on your skateboard. It's just faster. Oh, you can hear it. It's kind of like impossible mission on a skateboard without enemies. That's true. It's uh, it's a, it's an interesting concept. It's neat. Oh, dead end. Don't want to crash into the walls, right? Because it kicks you off your skateboard. Mm -hmm. Um, your wage is based on how fast you complete the task, and you need that money to enter the skateboarding championship. Of course, there's always a skateboard championship, and you have to save the orphanage or save the uh. Save the teen, uh, what are the, the, oh, three things to get. Save, save the teen clubhouse or the, it's always something like that in the 80s that you save. This really does look like a 2600 game. This could, this could be made on a 2600. If, if you, how do you get to that level? What are you trying to do? Get down the pipe? You were down the pipe. I know, and I'm trying to get back I'm, up. I don't, I want to go back down the pipe. It's really weird because you have to be like running and jump. You have to jump onto the skateboard? Yeah. Ah. Oh, you can see the wattage. I wasn't even looking at that. I guess that has to go down to zero. Ugh, where's the next way oh, you have out to go of this level? down to get back up to that one. I think you have to go up to go down. Ugh, well, where so was... Go up. So then, where was the down? I don't know. Not there. <sighs> Past that. Maybe it's further up. Yeah, it definitely wouldn't be as detailed. Oh, maybe it's way further up. Hit the wall. That's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. Kinda, I, I like the... Um, it's kind of mazy. It's more of a maze. It is a maze. Than anything else. I kind of... I was enjoying that. Yeah. Not hard to play. Next one we're not actually going to play. Mm -hmm. um, it is a, a, a release called 32 in 1. Okay. And I'm going to show you what it is because it's... One, it's pointless playing it. Two, it's not really a 7800 mm. game. It's a collection of 2600 games. Um, where is it? There it is. So um, this is a, a good kind of summary of it on a, game, a page called Atari 7800 Forever. It was released in PAL only, which mm. is another issue. We wouldn't be able to play it on this system. Um, it is a re-release of 32 2600 games. Mm -hmm. It was labeled with 7800, but it was just 2600 games. Atari 2600 games. Mm -hmm. uh, there's the list of 2600 games. UFO, Flight Capture, Unit Cannonball, etc., etc. Um, fishing. There's a graphical hack of fishing on it where you uh, fish for crabs instead, instead of fish. fish. Okay. Yep. A uh, freeway rabbit, a hack of graphic hack of Activision's freeway in which you're a rabbit. So huh. somehow, somehow. That's it there. Free, freeway rabbit. Who put this out? I, was it Atari? Uh, because that's an Activision mm. game. And there's a bunch of Atari games, but they're also U.S. US games. Very, very strange. Uh, but it works on a 7800 game. Look up 7800 Commando. 3200 was just 2600 games. And see how many 2600 versions pop up because technically it works on the 7800. Uh, yeah, the, people mislabel things because you can play mm. 2600 games on a 7800. Um, so graphically enhanced crabs aside, this game is a dud. <laughs> so it is just a repackaging. Of a whole bunch of old Which games. is, you know, not a terrible idea. I was going to say, rather... usually those are like bootlegs, you know? Like, <laughs> that's yeah. what I think of when I think of like a cartridge with a, like, 
40 games on it. So there's Comavid, there's Activision games. Yeah. There's Atari games, there's US ga US games games. Mm. Um, so it's a big, uh, big mix. So mm. very, very strange. Activision was deep financial distress. So they probably yeah, licensed for they nothing. Did. Uh, okay. Because it doesn't mm. say, like, it, that's the cartridge. Like, it's so plain. Um, and it was also released in 2600 form, too. Hmm. So. 32 and 1. Doesn't Can't say really. It's, it's, it's all machine yeah, blended it's together tiny. in that photo, but. Um, yeah. It's really interesting. So, pros, 32 games in one card. Cons, 32 kind of crappy <laughs> games in one card. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, that's that's why we're not playing it because it's pointless. Mm. We They're all 2600 games. So we will move on to the next one. All right. <clears throat> Which is Barnyard Blaster. So the order With of these games is order of release, more or less. And we won't actually play this one because we have played it before and it needs a light gun, which we don't have plugged in oh, because it's just New right. York on LCD. Yeah. We'd have to, I'd have to get out my CRT. VCR and CRT yeah. and light gun. So you can just refer to our light gun episode, yep. which we played every single Atari light gun across 2600, 7800, 8-bit, yep, all of them. So we can't actually shoot. Oh, yeah. we can't play either. We can't play. But, so you can you can take a look at our light gun episode. Okay. But we, <laughs> we loaded have it. Clean it. We loaded it. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the next one is uh, Tank Command from Frogo, still December 1988. Excellent. Tank so. Command. Frogo. What a funny name for a company. Oh, let's switch over. So, so Tank Command, is this a two-player game or just a single-player game? Um, uh, Just a single. So... You just steer the tank left, right, up, and down. Uh, and this is the most expensive game for the 7800. Yeah. Uh. If you wish oh, to... Oh, I do have shots. If you wanted to collect for the 7800, this is probably the last one you'll buy. Especially if you're collecting new in box. Um, if it's just a complete in box, mm. this game is $750 US to buy. Oh, destroyed the building a bit. Um, if you wanted a new sealed copy of this, it's $1,500 to buy it. Oh. So this is definitely the last one you buy for the 7800 when you're getting a full set of them. Ah! So GameSpot says, Tank Command has you unsurprisingly commanding a tank across a desert battlefield. Did I hit him? Is that why? You hit him and he hit you. Destroying everything in your path across three levels to reach an end flag and perhaps beat your high score in the process. Right. Actually, surprisingly, the game doesn't utilize tank controls. Instead, movement and control is direct, but you've only got one single kind of explosive shot. Uh -huh, but it's pretty... more than enough to take down everything in your path, including okay. vehicles, ground troops, okay. and in a single hit, and pillboxes, buildings, and silos in a handful of hits. There you go. So you just destroy everything. That looks like you collect it. For energy. I, I generally assume. I know. Or maybe it was fuel. I didn't see the fuel. So they go a certain distance. So you yeah, really I know. Have to, I'm, I'm terrible for uh, they like the judging gr that. Uh, grenades. And, ah! ooh. Oh. They like the grenades in Commando. Have, ah! Oh my goodness. <laughs> I would run away from that building. Frogo made that horrible karate game for the 26. Did they? Oh, that was Frogo? Oh, the graphics are so bad in that game. So very terrible. I wouldn't say this is a great game. I wouldn't say it's terrible. It's oh, bullets. Interesting. Oh, you do have ammo. You gotta watch your ammo. You're back up to 50. Yeah. Not. I don't know if I'm super keen on the you have to shoot everything at a certain distance, but I guess that's what makes it harder. Yeah. Because if it was being able to shoot just everything, that would make it very, very easy. Oh, your energy is getting low. I need gas. 
gas for your tank. Oh, does that guy have gas? No one has gas. Oh, it's just a bad. What? What is going on? Why can't I move further? You're hitting the building or something. I don't know. I'm out. Those those guys? Do they have to hit you? Move! I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, your energy. I have no. It's not energy. It's fuel. Empty full. Fuel. I'm so dead. what do you do? Just sit Nothing. there until you die. <laughs> sit there until you die. <laughs> Maybe somebody will bring you some, some energy. That's kind of funny, actually. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a game where you run out of energy and then you just sit there and wait till you <laughs> die. <laughs> is anybody gonna bring you anything? Oh, that tank is very confused. I'm I'm a sitting duck. I'm really <laughs> easy to get. And nobody has gotten you. They'll bring you some hot death. Hot death. Maybe. The guy just hits okay. a tree and then... To be fair, this is the funniest thing I've ever experienced. I ran out of fuel. But they can't hurt you because they're so useless. I guess I can shoot them. Oh, Frogo. Yeah, you have 16. Come back. You can rescue him from his confusion. Come back. When he, when he comes back. Can no, you turn? come back eventually. No, I can't move. Can't turn even. No. No, nothing. Can you hop out of the vehicle and go get gas and bring it back? Oh, different guy. Oh, but you can't. You have to hit in that one exact spot. Oh, he's, he's going to put you me. out of your misery. There we Yay. go. It says you have one tank. Is it game over or you actually get another tank? Uh, game oh, over. Oh, it does it that the wrong cool. way. That was cool. That, you want to try it? Or? We'll give it a go. 40 seconds? Yeah, in the 40 seconds we have left. Oh, That's my God. cute. Maybe this game was not done confidently. Uh, no, um, I think they missed it. I don't hate. Things. I don't hate the idea of it, and and the 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 shot. The you have to kind of you know make sure your shot is at a certain distance. But well, the uh, thing is, I don't have to stop for anything really. No, I'm just gonna avoid just everything. Blast through. Maybe that's actually the better tactic. I don't know. Probably the. Hi, hi, crazy around. panther. Oh. Yeah. Fuel. There. You, oh, yeah. Yep. Fuel. Maybe it's not. Oh, no. it's his shots just hit me. He doesn't have to lob them. That's so unfair. <laughs> Tanks a lot, says uh, BBG. Oh, the puns. Next one is Water Ski by Frogo. In sometime in 1988, I couldn't get a date on it, so I just put it at the end. Mm. Water Ski, an exclusive. Maybe by Frogo. Couldn't find uh, another platform it was on. Frogo, eh? Mm. Um, so your goal is to cross the finish line. So the speed speed boat left and right directs the boats. Up and down does the speed of the boat. Now the buttons direct your water skier. The buttons. Yes. So Ooh. left, left, right moves the water skier left and right. Left and right, what? The buttons? The buttons, left and right, moves oh, the water skiers. So I you see. gotta get them over those. But you have to also direct the boat. Oh, I have to get them over those? Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is, uh... So you have to control two things at I'm, once. I am not very good at this game. Okay, let's try this again. Skier 2. So that's, that's interesting. Not many games have you control two things at once. <gasps> 10,000 points. And right into the, the land. <laughs> Remember to steer him after. I know, but I don't want to hit. It's very, very confusing. Oh, he's going to hit the side. And if you hold down the buttons uh, on the water skier, he speeds up and slows down. Or he speeds up. It's gonna, oh, the boat hit the ramp. Oh, my gosh. There's so much. Okay, you... you, <laughs> you Is it as difficult Twin as, stick. Oh my Maybe. God. Is there a twin stick no. on this? No. Nope. Press nope. up to increase speed. Yeah, I... I I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know if that's a good idea either. I mean... All these buttons are... Have to... It's an interesting game. I mean, the double controls... He moves pretty quick. He does. Oh, it's so hard. Good job, too. I mean... Oh, my God. It's so hard <laughs> to, to control both of these guys at once. BBG says, no, it's one stick and same sticks button would need custom controller. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, uh, oh, God. oh, oh it's my God. challenging. Oh, All you have to do is, is so raise the jumps, though, oh, at least. Yeah. There's no landing to no, commit to. No, it's very forgiving with the jumps. But it's, it's, it's more just dodging stuff. It's all, like, oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, it's so it's hard dodging. to dodge it. It's so hard. I think it's a good idea. Oh, the concept of it's pretty cool. 
I, I think it would work better as a twin stick. Uh, Frago seems to oh do the backgrounds pretty competently well. Yeah, the boat's pretty good, actually. But the gameplay's a little bit... Hmm. A little bit suspect. Then. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't hate the concept. I, I don't think I've played another game like that where you're water skiing and controlling both the boat no. and the skier at the same time. Oh my god, this game is so hard. Yeah, I don't want to speed up. That just makes it harder. I think this would be a fun VR game from the perspective of the water skier. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> you do the boat. This is, this is too hard. Okay. Okay. You do the boat. I I dodge. Yeah. And you're you're gonna go back and forth. Yeah. This is gonna be much better. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Oh my god. Because he has to land first before he can start steering him again. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't so watch out. He's so what fast. Are you doing? You don't have to hit them if you don't want to. Yeah. You can just play the dodge game. And the boat affects the water skier, too. I don't know if you should take that. Ah, uh, oof. Okay, this is definitely a two-man game. Much better as a two-person. Ooh, look at that. Big stump in there. No! Oh! Damn it. Whoa, faster! <laughs> no, not not. Oh, we start all over again. Uh, the button arrangement on the Ed Ladin here. The buttons are just top and bottom, so it's very confusing because they're just up and oh, uh, they're not left and right like on a <laughs> controller. Watch out! Just play the dodging game. Okay, let's just dodge. Yeah. We don't need points. Oh. It's so fast. The water skier's so fast. There's no inertia right. either. Like, no inertia. Not exactly wave race, is it? <laughs> no, <Gavadam>. <laughs> it's not wave race. <laughs> Who decided the color palette for this? Well, it's very similar color palette to the last one, so... Yeah, Frogo's pretty consistent. Frogo yeah. is like, we have four colors, and that's all we program in, so... We have green and blue yes. and red. Uh, Tower Toppler. Okay. Now I have to switch stick. Okay. Hey, it's Kev! Uh, this is by Hugh. Hey, load it up. We have Which five one? minutes. Which one? Sorry, sorry. You're not listening. Tower Toppler. I was looking at Houston the... Houston uh... Consultants. Uh, January 1989, we've made it into... One player? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. So this... Uh, walk left and right. Up, take the tunnel or elevator up. Oh, and then you die. Okay. Jump. Uh, fire while walking. Shoot. Fire while standing still. Jump. So if you move and press a button. Why they didn't use both buttons, I don't oh, know. Oh, right off the edge. Okay, that's, that's, uh, I, I will figure it out. I getcha. There you go. There's an elevator there. Uh-oh, gotta jump over that. Into the brink. Oh my goodness. Yes, I knew somebody would bring that up. Um, this um, is better on a CRT because it uses artifacts oh. to um, enhance the graphics. I'm going to go left. Oh, ah! just go under it. Go under it. Go under it. Go under it. Go up. Uh, How do I go up? Um, jump. No, I have to jump. Up for elevator up. Up for elevator up. Okay. Yeah. And those are elevators? Yeah, the platforms are elevators. There we go. We're moving. There's another elevator. Thank you, Crypto Coffee, for the 10 bits. Hey, killed something. I don't know if you can walk up or you have to jump up that. Probably have to jump. Shoot it, shoot it. Ah, oh, walk back. Shoot it, shoot it. I can't. Oh. You can't. Oh, you. Jump down, down a level. Oh, that's good. You can't Jeez. shoot those, or do you have to avoid them? I don't know. What? Why am I getting pushed back? I don't know. 
Ah. I'm confused. Oh, oh, it just knocks you down. It does knock you down. So the water is the death. So Ugh. like that. Okay, my turn. <laughs> hey, Crypto Coffee. Oops. Cyrano, artifacting, commonly known as We Hate You Pal Guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no artifacting in yeah. Pal. I so get to... knocked down, <laughs> but I'll get up again. <laughs> and now they're gonna keep me down. Oops. And that's how you die. <sighs> game on. Not game over. Oh, that's funny. Let's try and play it. So you can or cannot shoot these things? Some of them you can. Not those ones. Um, I tried. You did kill one thing, the, the round ones you can you can shoot. The oh round ones goodness. only, it looks like. This game is a bit nebulous. This... It's interesting. I like this tower this tower style of gameplay. I mean, there's some modern, more modern games now that... Do towery things. Do yeah. towery things. That, I mean, that you can shoot. It's because it's in your way. That's probably why. Oh, that oh. one didn't die. No, the it? pink one... No, the pink one did did die. This so game. it's only certain things. This game. It's got it. Everything has its own set of rules. Yeah. By the looks of it. And you. It's cute though. And people play this game and get completely frustrated because you have to have the dip switches in the A position. Okay. Most people do not keep them in the A position. Oh. Oh my god. You have to watch out for stuff. I thought that guy <laughs> did, didn't come over that oh, part. Oh, you never know. Yeah. Oh, Tower Toppler is U.S. only. It's called Nebulous everywhere else. Yeah, I've that's seen... why I said this game is a bit nebulous. Oh, <laughs> I did not. I did not make that association. Interesting yeah. though. It has another game in Japanese yeah. too. So speaking of different countries uh, and and um, well, uh. computers and consoles, what, uh, what did we run into when we were at the uh, Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo? Oh, it had a uh, Vancouver Retro. Oh, I can't get up here. I don't know. I had the same pr trouble. I couldn't. I had trouble with it too. It kept pushing me back. Um, that game I'd like to explore more. Yes, it's an interesting game. You like platformers. I do. I, I can see once you get the hang of it, it getting easier. But um, yeah, I think that's all about controls. Um, yeah, there was a nice computer display mm -hmm. there. Um, there was a ZX Spectrum uh, 128 plus, toast rack. Is it? 128 plus toast yeah. rack version, mm. which is the one I want. Yeah. <laughs> but they're very expensive. Next one's Pete Rose Baseball by Absolute Entertainment. Yeah. But they had a wonderful display of all kinds of old Oh, computers. huge display of wonderful. Japanese and um, British, British computers. British computers. And U.S. computers as well. And U.S. computers from the Chilliwack Computing Association or yes. Retro Computing Association. Yep. They had wonderful display. It was really cool. Yeah. Okay, Pete Cas Rose. Castilian Subline Caro Chanland was it was also called. Uh oh, not oh. couch compliance. Why? No, it's not. Oh, <laughs> it's not couch compliant apparently. I'm guessing I have to. Are you the pitcher or are you? Yeah, you're the pitcher. Get it. And you threw it home. Well, oh well, he didn't run anyway. Okay, here it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, up for fastball, down for sinker, left for screwball, right for curveball, and just the button for changeup. Okay. Oh, and to select. Oh, come on. To select which guy. Um, oh, that was very slow. I don't think it's fairly so well. fairly intuitive for selecting which one to, to Up, get down. the ball. It shows you on the screen. Oh, okay. It shows you on the screen. Yeah. Uh, but there's nothing I can do in this screen. Yeah, you have to press up, down, left, right oh! to select which... Yeah, that's what I was explaining. Oh, there. Oh yeah. my gosh, I can't... What is going on? No. There you go. Get that guy. I don't think you do up, down, left, right. It just cycles through them. Oh. Why can't I? Why can't I get the ball? <laughs> what is going on? He's not allowed to pass onto the grass, apparently. Try the first base one. I can do the pitcher. Okay, first baseman. The only the first base baseman is allowed to go there. 
Oh my god. Problematic icon baseball. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> People have no faces. Up for second base. Home. Oh. That kind of worked. <laughs> Home. Yes. Oh. Well, you got one out. That's good. Two out. Two out. So you got one last time. Must be Canadian baseball rules. Yes. Up for second base. Oh, oh what? Oh, what the heck? Come on. That's crazy. Oh, that is so weird. Ah, outfielder. Best Atari baseball was a 5200 with a nice analog swinging. That would be nice use of analog controller. Nice. Okay, for batting. Uh, to get the ball rolling or flying, you must first have to connect. Uh, use the joystick to move your player around and then the button to hit it. Good one. Oh, somebody's going to get that pop fly. See, the first baseman has to go there. That's crazy. Did you see him get, use the first baseman to run like almost next to where the pitcher mound is? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Terrible. Three outs. Three? That was, that was quick. How was that three outs? Two where you hit oh, the ball. Oh, three strikes. Not three outs, three strikes. No, no. I'm pitching again. Yeah. What? Two, you hit the ball and they caught it. Or oh, two, I hit. That was the last one. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I played. Oh. First baseman. First baseman. Oh. It was a pop fly to the first baseman. I thought he'd gone out, gone off. All right. That's it for baseball. That's enough baseball for Good me. Good graphics. Today. <laughs> uh, baseball. I wouldn't say that's great for which player to get the ball it was yeah. bizarre having the first baseman control the whole infield the yeah the first whole base, infield whole infield um i think that would get a little bit easier the more you played it yeah. so well, at least you know. it. <laughs> next one's title match pro wrestling by absolute entertainment as well january 1989 uh well it's released in the spring so i put it in january so good luck in trying to figure out all the moves. Here's a oh, cross. What? Here's a chart. Depending Showing on up to the screen there. Depending on your position and their position oh my and which mode you're in. What? Joystick mode, button mode, button mode, button so mode, button mode. If you're free, just the joystick walks around. Button and up punch. Button and down kick. Button and right grabbing a headlock. Button and left grabbing a headlock. But once you're holding the opponent in a headlock, moving the joystick drags him around the ring. Button and up does a power lift, etc. Et Canvas et slam. Oh my goodness. Okay, well. Oh, absolute why? You make me use the buttons. So you are. Oh, it's two player. Okay. Is it? I need this over Is a bit, it? please. To play. All right. Gonna kick you. No! 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 Swing you and then smack you. No! The crowd is not bad graphics. Yeah, it's not terrible. And the players aren't too bad. There's not a lot of, like, animation. You're either grabbing them or you're not grabbing them. I guess there's a bit of animation. So let's let's try to do something here. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. I got you. Okay, so grab... Oh, you have okay. to get up. How get do up. I get up? I don't know. Buttons. 
Component down. Uh, 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 doesn't say how to get up in this page. Press buttons, move a joystick. There you go. Okay. So, you want to get me in a headlock? Or... Okay, that's kay. a headlock. Uh, you can slam me on the canvas with the button and down. Oh! Oh, gotcha. I was holding the button and then nothing was happening. You oh, have to okay. let go of the button. They took the double dragon sprites and put them in the game. It does look like... What's his name? Okay, so let's let's try something Bobo? Else. Bono? Nobo? What's his name? Okay, power left is up and button. And then once you've got him in a power left... Oh, it doesn't say. You just slam me on the ground, oh. I guess. Up is backdrop, body slam. Probably down a button. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Oh, when you're holding the opponent overhead, you can carry him around the ring. You can do a backdrop, so do that. Then his up and button. Okay. That oh, that was the, the down. Same. That's the body slam. Sorry. Oh. Okay. And then. Up and button. There There's we go. a backdrop. Go. Nice, nice. We're liking this. Oh. Throw you into the rings. A Bobo. That's the name. Okay. And it was a Bono, Bo, Bono, Nobo. I was missing the extra B. Oh, you can. Oh. If I do. And then. And then what, what can I do when you're down? Elbow drop. Oh, you can do an elbow drop is down in the button. Where? Down? There you go. Elbow drop. Okay. Um, you can also grab me in a headlock again if you yeah. do left or right. Yeah. The button. Okay. How do I get up on the ropes? Interesting. Swinging a put. Throw. Oh, the swinging. So how do I swing you? Uh, in a headlock, you do uh, left or right in the button once you're in the headlock. Okay. Then left or right with the button. No. Maybe hold down the button first. Hold down the button first. And then left and right. No. no. I think it's just left and right. Okay. No. Towards opponent. Away from him. Oh, you have to do towards me. So go to the right in the button. There you go. Swinging opponent. Uh, you just throw into the, the ropes left or right. That's all there is. Up, down, left, right. Oh, yeah. okay. Cool, cool. Okay. I think it could be okay. Oh, that's kind of once fun. Once you learn the movements. I mean, the movements take a little bit of Graphics getting to know. Graphics aren't too bad. I don't, there's no. not really a lot of moves. Not any special moves. No finishing moves that well, I can see. Well, you can see. elbow and throw them down. Of, I think there's quite a bit. A there's nothing special moves. about the graphics, though. It just no. throws them down, but... Uh, next one's a baseball game again by Atari. It's Real Sports Baseball, March 1989. Under R? Real? Real Sports Baseball. Let's just reset that. Oh, bubble letters. Oh, oh Do you it's like so to dark. Play this one? Wow. Oh, it's just dark on the screen. Very, um, very dark. Green. So I have no instructions on there. I think I have them on here. This is for 2,650, 2,700. So is it two player or one player? So are you pitching or are you batting? Batting, but... Well, you probably have to press the button to swing. Oh my god, the swing is so slow. So... Oh my gosh. Up is a high swing, middle, uh, low, down. Bunt is left and right in the button. It, it literally, like, listen to when I s hit the button and when it swings. Oh, no. Oh, it's so slow. It's it's so, <laughs> so delayed. Okay, for now pitching. That's terrible. Up. Up, fastball, left, inside curve, right, okay. outside curve, down, change up, down, left, inside. So it's like up, fast, up, left, inside slider. Oh, you're running away. Do I have to hit the button? Uh, to throw the pitch, hold the round the right joystick button and then... Kitten, we don't need it. Right joystick button and then move the joystick in the, in the desired direction. So you hold down the button. Then you throw it down. 
and different pitches depending on which what? direction. But my, what is going on? My, go back, go back. What is going on? Throw the pitch, hold the right joystick button, and then move the joystick handle. Warning. Oh. Warning. That's probably the tree ball got the wrong is loose. loose. The tree ball is, is, is loose. Oh, it's tree ball time for kittens. I'll get that going while you figure out how what the left and the right buttons are. Okay. Oh, <gasps> Jesus. Can you clean that up, please? Yep. Kittens. Messy cat. What is going on? Okay. So, who did the tree ball? There we go, finally. Thank you, Gamma Dev. I got into some pattern where I was just tossing the ball around <laughs> with all the other players. You're practicing. Practicing throwing. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Treat ball time, courtesy of Gamma Dev. This is what the 7800 library needed. Treat ball. Exactly right. Some cats and a treat ball. The treat ball game. So you have to throw the ball back to your pitch pitcher. Well, yeah, he needs the ball to throw it. No, but you literally With have that to. ball physics. That was hilarious. This is so confusing. I've never played a baseball game where you actually have to throw the ball. Oh, look oh, at that. Like literally have to throw it yeah, back. Yeah, I have after to hit the, the button from the 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 catcher oh. to the pitcher, and then set it back up. Very realistic. This is this is <laughs> not this is not the. It's not arcadey. Oh, I'm still doing covered. Oh. This is such a weird game. It is authentic. There's a lot of control. Oh my goodness. So there's there the bottom button you you have to hold it to throw and the top button you have to hold it to pitch. Which is uh, interesting. It's so real. It's so, so you could stop real a steal. Sports. Yes. Oh. So I, I like I get it, but it makes it a lot more complicated. Do you want to try? Oh, it's one second left, but just just try it for a second because I've never played a game. The bottom one controls the players, and the and you can throw it. Okay. And the top one is for pitching, and they set set back up. But if the ball's not in the pitcher's hand and you try to pitch, it gets all kind of. You have to throw it back to the pitcher. Okay, so the bo top button is for throwing it. Yeah. The and then that sets it up. The bottom button is for getting ready. That took me way too long to figure out. Well, the, gra the animation's really good. It like is really good. The throwing animation. You're much better at this than I am. Just the throwing it back and forth. It's neat, though. Yeah, you it's... just have to remember what button to press as you're as you're controlling them versus pitching, but it's not that bad actually. Yeah. It's very very real. It is very real. It's so real. I'm gonna hit the batter. <laughs> Strike. Yeah, he swung. Oh, I just have to throw it right at the batter and he'll he'll strike out. Let's see if I can do it again. Yep. Yeah, I found the secret. Good job. Okay, next game. How's it going, kitten? 
So you you had a combat game uh, set up there for? Yeah, he's playing combat. Yeah. Uh, one player combat. One player combat. He wins every time. Uh, he it, well, that's how it works. The cat yeah. always wins. He's like the house. Yep, always wins. Always in the wins. End. <laughs> Next one is uh, touchdown football <laughs> by <awful>. Imagineering. <laughs> oh. March 1989. Whoa, good, da, da. good screen. You'll be playing this because. Uh. Player versus computer. You know more about football than I do. This is not and press well. reset. So, here's all the defensive formations an offensive and passing, oh. and offensive formations. Oh no. <laughs> There's nothing on screen. You have to use these. What? This was released for the Atari 8-bit and the 7800. <laughs> Title match pro wrestling is only a 32-k game. Okay, game. Oh, is it CPU versus CPU? No, I'm playing. Oh, okay. <laughs> they just thought it was. Oh, it could be CPU versus it CPU. It could be CPU. We'll see That'd how... That'd be probably more interesting than what's going to happen. Offense. Select. So give me the offense formations here. Ugh. I'm not a sports person. Um... We could do a split T, a slot right, I, a shotgun. But how how do I three kick plays? Is, am I supposed to have buttons to press here or? Nope. You press up for that, up and right for that, right for that, down, down and then down, down left for oh that. Oh goodness! You can punt it. Right receiver. Are you picking any plays? I don't know what I'm playing. Picking. You have to do those. Shot, shotgun. You're just pressing the button. They're all shotgunning it, apparently. They're all shotgunning it. Oh, that was just terrible. And that was thrown off the field <laughs> by somebody. Gotcha. So I pick for three? Wow. What? Oh. Did you get all the treats? You did. I don't know what I'm doing. This Beak. is this is bad when you don't know football. Like, so because like there's up down split T, that's up. Oh, it does show on the screen. Slot right. Okay. I right. We're Canadian. Sorry. Left receiver. <laughs> so you're you're actually We're directing. More into hockey, which we lost. Yeah, we as won't Canadians. talk about that. <laughs> That's why the show was a tiny bit late. So we're watching a Canadian team lose to Florida. Oh, oh! you did something. You threw it on the ground. Oh, Throw it better. on the ground. <laughs> oh, still watching combat. Oh, no. Combat's over. There you go. Football. All right. Rugby with padding. <laughs> okay. Uh, Select your offensive formation. This is, I'm not the right person to play this game. Neither of us are but you're more qualified than I am. You actually know what some of these mean. No, I really don't. <laughs> I thought you watched football for a small portion of your life. Ugh. I watch football 0% of my life. Nope, got sacked. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh. Cities that don't have snow every year shouldn't have a hockey team. Well, they seem to have done okay for themselves. Oh, oh no! Gosh. Touchdown get him. imminent! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! You got him! Uh. The green helmets got the white helmets. <laughs> green and blue. Oh is... my gosh! Am I supposed to pick a defensive formation? Like that happens so fast. Well, you press the button and it was over. Oh, this is just got off. Touchdown! Awful. As bad as the green on green? Yes, it is. <laughs> Country plan. I don't watch football either, and I'm American. Lol. Yeah. <gasps> You're gonna get kicked out of your country. Uh, but I, I'm supposed oh. to. I'm supposed to pick a. No good. I'm supposed to pick a, a defensive. Well, don't press oh, the didn't. button. What is going on? Pressing here? the button locks it in, so don't do that. No, I'm not touching anything. It oh, just okay. immediately starts. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> you have 15 seconds to figure it out. They won't even make it to the ball. It's all in real time. 
The animation's good. The play field's good. The information is good. The colors are offensive. All right. There goes the ball to no. Oh, oh. And it falls on the ground. Run! It's your last play. Avoid everyone. Play. Avoid everyone. Here's run! No play. It's just run. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just run. Just, just run. Running. There is no play. Pro, pro tip avoid sacks, yeah. Avoid it's avoid generally sacks. not good. It's generally not good. Whew, we're out of the sports games now. Whew, we're back to the simulators. Tomcat, the F 14 fighter. Now we're going to Another flight simulator. make Dan Kitchen very upset now. Stiff arm. I don't know what that means. We're going to make Dan Kitchen very upset. Why? Because it's it his not? game and we're going to play it terribly. Oh, sorry, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, the graphics are really oh, good. Oh, we're on an uh, aircraft carrier. Wow, that and looks... That's a very short really? yeah, runway. No. I'm not... Fire. I don't have very good... Uh... Fire the thrusters. Oh. Okay. Press the button. Or the other button. Oh, Absolute Entertainment loves reset. There we go. Ready for flight. You're at the controls. Oh, okay. Fuel's back up. Good. Uh, right. Forward drives the aircraft. Back climbs the aircraft. Forward, oh, dives the aircraft. Right banks to the left, right, left fire, fires weapons. Oh, right joystick button increases thrust when the joystick is moved forward or back. So press the button and move it forward. Joystick. Oh, engines. Yep, okay. And remember to pull back as soon as it launches. I think you have to get it maybe to 100. Keep it up. Oh, 200%! Engines are gonna explode. What is going on here? Why am I not moving? What am I supposed to do? Um, there's nothing here about the button. Now, if that kicks the engine past 100, that which somehow doesn't seem appropriate, does the it? The FD officer will salute you, indicate you have go for launch. Okay. And? Uh, after which you'd be automatically catapulted from the flight deck. So go. Isn't he saluting me? It says it's automatic. Maybe go engines higher. Other way. Oh, keep going. Oh, there's a salute. You'll be automatically launched. Then pull back. Oh, okay. Back. There we go. You need to go to 216%. Is that like when you have to. You know, you're playing sports and they say give 110%, and this one is like, no, you have to give 216%. So I'm. Like, what altitude? Uh, your altitude. Oh, there you go. So one of them shoots. That one. Nice. And I'm not sure what altitude I'm supposed to be at. Um, so left difficulty raises and lowers landing gear. So maybe we have to do that. Yeah, I went up. What did you do? Put you into three G's. Oh, resting hook is the right difficulty. Select goes through the computer display screens. Oh my goodness. Lots of stats. There's a lot going Lots on. Lots of armament. Lots of threats. Well, let's stay in this screen. Your speed is one. Meter? Like meter per second, I'm guessing. Here. Maybe I need to be higher. Oh, could be. Yeah, you might need to climb, yeah. Oh, pulling a lot of G's. Okay, flight. Once you're airborne, your main computer display will automatically switch to launch uh, on your altitude. Yes. Pressing select will switch. Combat. For air combat. Oh, we're probably not in a probably in a non combat. Okay, but then what is my point here? Am I supposed to get back to the ship? Well, like all these games are very complex. <laughs> need 216% apparently after burn. Oh, I see. So it's more than the engine. It's engine plus other engines plus 16%. Ooh, eight Gs. That's probably because you're turning, right? Yep. I don't know. Enjoy flying around for the next 18 I seconds. I mean, it's interesting. Uh, the, the graphics are here. really good on the cockpit. That's for sure. Uh, 
there's no radar or anything like that? Also, what's radar's that red thing? at the thing? bottom. Oh, there's so much. Oh, I oh, died. Did you crash in the ocean? I might have. Good end. <laughs> Good ending. You're prob probably murdering fuel, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Am I? I need to slow down. Was my oh? Was my engine really high? Maybe that's oh, why. You're at two hundred. It's the problem when you don't have time to read instructions. No, we'd yeah. be here all year if we had to <laughs> learn every single I game. Haven't We're played. Kind of just looking. Honestly, at the I have graphics. not played a lot of uh, flight simulators. No. So next one is so easy. Yeah. It's crossbow. <gasps> crossbow. From Imagineering. Nice. Uh, joystick version. Yeah. Figured not the light gun. Not the light gun version. So I'll press the button. Then you have a crosshairs, and you can choose you can choose the red or the green path, and they'll well, take you to different. We played things. this before. We, we played did, the, with the, the light gun. Light gun version. So shoot everything on the screen, all the bad things, especially things dropping at you or shooting at you. Not yourself. Not yeah. Do, don't oh. shoot your friends. My gosh. Don't shoot that person. Am I shooting? All the things, all the things that are appearing. Ah! Oh, you got hit. Oh, oh shoot gosh. the ghost! There you go. Shoot this that thing on the fall. Super on the ground. hard! Oh no, that was good. It is super hard. In oh this my version. gosh! The light gun's so much easier because you just go bam, bam, bam. So bam. hard. No time for the manual. No, there's no manuals on the show. <laughs> we only have five minutes. <laughs> you want to give it a shot? I mean, it's just shoot, shoot, shoot. It, I think it's I have to the reset. Hard. Uh, no. Oh, no. Time's out. Okay. There's no time for manuals. Let's go green just to show mm -hmm. something different. Mm -hmm. I think this one's a little easier because there's less on the screen because it's the desert. It's kind of... Ah, you can it's kind a of lot hold easier. It. You can kind of hold it and drag it across things. It is... Um, oh. I remember can it being you? much easier with the light gun. Well, sort of. That's when. Oh, you can. Okay, that's much easier. Yeah. Okay. Unless when you shoot your friends. <gasps> no, don't appear at the last second. Got two across. Rabbits probably don't kill you, but just in case. Good job. Level complete. New friends! Oh, new friends. Which one should I do? Red, green, Try the blue one. Blue. Cave. Okay, I have to watch for falling things. This one's not super yeah, this easy. This with joystick versus light gun is like missile command with joystick versus true trackball. Yeah. Playable, but not worth it. Yeah, it's... it's. Missile command with trackball is so good. No, no! Oh. It's weird. It's just a whole bunch of random stuff <gasps> falling. Damn it! Sometimes you have to sacrifice one person for another one. I try not to. What? Why aren't you moving? Oh, I have to shoot this. I have to actually create a path. Lost the person. Good job. New friend. New friend. It's a wizard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's go to the swampy area. Get ready. In the arcade, this one has voices. Does it? Yeah. Oh, neat. Ooh, what is that, a pumpkin? Oh, monkeys. Oh, my God. Carnivorous plant. No! Oh, my God, so hard. You have, like, no... Ri no! And it's game over. <laughs> That's funny. Crossbow is a weird game. It's not a wizard, it's a willard. Is it? A willard. <laughs> Who is it? Willard, Willard uh, Scott? <laughs> yeah, it's Willard Scott. Now for one more game, uh, I'll go the green. That was a little bit easier. Then we'll go a different one. I'm ready. <clears throat> Come on. Bring out the friends. Don't kill friends. Don't think it actually lets you 100% kill them. Well, if they die, then your game is over. Like, you kill them actively, though. You can let them perish. No, I think you're right. Come on, friend. Nope! Nope! Nope, bunnies. Nope. Nope. Oh, there's another person. No ants. Nope. 
Nope, nope. Nope, nope. <gasps> what happened? Did I shoot him? You shot him. You can kill them. You only get one, I think, free shot. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> one warning. What a weird game. <laughs> it's, it's, it's half decent with the light gun. Yes, though. yeah. Well, there's a lot to shoot at with the light gun, so that's pretty yeah. cool. Okay, next game is uh, Cracked. Mm. It's a very weird game. Uh, and it is by Robot Ro Robert Nevy. Mm. Um, the goal of Cracked is to protect the eggs in five nests during an attack by egg-stealing creatures. Uh, the controls are similar to that of light gun games, uh, duh, 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 except oh my you gosh, use the position really of crosshairs. Huh? And the 7800 joystick is used instead of a mouse. If a creature carries off an egg, the creature can be shot so it drops its prize. Ugh. Oh my gosh. The falling egg can be caught with the crosshairs and placed back in the nest. If at the end of the raid at least one egg remains in a oh nest, then gosh. the level ends. There are five different themed levels. This is definitely hard. It's like the last one. It's so fast. So you can catch the eggs if if they're falling. Oh, oh you made it. That's hard. Unless that's a bunny from the Holy Grail, then they're just a bonus. <laughs> deadly, deadly bunnies. Rooster Ranch. Rooster Ranch. Oh. Shoot him. Oh, what's up? Oh, you have left and right, up and down. Up. Oh. So you have a time and left. Oh. There. Oh, I think you got that one. Or not. I don't understand. I don't understand. Is it like this? Definitely like that. Oh, oh, you got him. You got that one. Move quick. I gotta go. It nope, goes too, too fast. Slow. Oh, I'm missing it every time. I don't think I've gotten a single one. No, you did get one. I'm, I'm, I'm not shooting anything. You are when you press the button. You shoot an egg. I'm confused. Well, whatever that was, it's But it, it's done it. I don't know. Is it a bonus level? It must be. I think it's a bonus level. Oh my gosh. They're so fast. <gasps> Shoot the egg. I, it's so hard to... Catch the egg. How? I don't know. It said you can catch it. Ugh. I don't know. It's like impossible. Your score is going down? <laughs> oh, in the last level? Oh, it's going up now. Try and get it. It's 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 like impossible to get it exactly. It's too fidgety. It's another game that needs a light gun or a mouse. Yeah. The original game has a mouse. Yeah. On the Atari ST. In the ranch level, it probably is, but I I'm oh my you goodness. You have some you have some legs left. It's it's so hard. <laughs> oh, they're so fast. I, I I don't even know how to catch them. I don't know. It just said, get your crosshairs over it so you can catch them. Maybe hold it down. No, not like I don't have, even know how to. I don't, I don't know how to catch them. Not like you even have time to catch them before another thing's carrying it off. Or the other button. No. No. Ugh, Just follow. I lost the, everything. One one egg left. Oh. Oof. You save the eggs by shooting them. Mm, doesn't seem to. Yeah, work. but it doesn't seem to work very well. No. Oh, missed. And then it, it 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 breaks another one. Oh, oh you See, just it, missed that it one. It just it must have to be so precise. Got it. I, no. You got two hundred points. Did for I? That. Yeah. Oh, so it points. is just it's it's just a bonus round then. Yeah. Oh, missed that. Oh, it's so hard. Nice. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, and if you miss, your score goes down by is 100. It? Oh. Or it if is, they shoot It you. is a bonus round, then. Then don't do it. Oh, it no, throws it... it automatically. <gasps> you lose it regardless. Yeah. What? Down to 100 points. Got it. Nice. Nice. Okay, I'm getting Get better. slowly better at it, but it helps when they're right next to each other. <laughs> it does. They're not hidden like that. 
Uh, oh, diagonals? Can you use diagonals? Yeah. Can you use uh, diagonals? Diagonals? Oh, oh a little you bit. can. Ugh. Why wouldn't they just use a crosshair for this? <laughs> Instead of these... So much easier with a light gun, I bet. Oh, yeah. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> uh, weird game. Not... Not the worst. No, the diagonals help a little bit. Super weird. Much more fun with a light gun, for sure. Next one is Dark Chambers by oh. Sculptured Software. Which is a pre precursor to Gauntlet. It's kind of a sidestep from Gauntlet. Oh, 100%. Ooh, floor chicken. Mmm. Um, this was released for 2600, 7800, Atari 8-bit. Oh my um, gosh. Originally it was called Dandy, Dandy Dungeon. It was a dungeon crawl maze video game for the Atari 8-bit. Uh, it was one of the first games with four players simultaneous co-op play. Mm. This, I believe, probably just has two player because 2600 only had two ports. Ooh. Mysterious liquid. Oh, oh, no, that's a generator. Shoot it. <laughs> Excuse me. I, just, I know I shot the cheese. You shot the food. Oh, shoot it. It's dead, isn't it? No, you've just decreased it to the ghost generator. What? Oh, for yeah, freak's this... sakes. Shoot it. Shoot the generator. There, you there go. we go. You just have this to game shoot. is very weird in the fact that it keeps the health of the enemies. Um, it shows the health of the enemies by a creature. Yeah. You devolve the enemies. No. No, no key left. There it is. Hold button to fire. Oh, not tapping. So you can... Oh, holding is, I'm sure it's better. Yeah. So this has rapid fire. Thank you, double down. Yeah, but you can't move at the same time. Oh, uh, okay. So good for certain situations. So you can leave the level right now. Do it. Do 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 do. I always found the health thing in this so weird. Devolve! Devolve! It's like it you're casting neat. a magic I mean, spell it on them. It does tell you where things are at. True. <laughs> I don't know why that's a potion. It's so weird that that's a potion as their generator. Graphics aren't oh, they're fine. terrible. The maze is actually pretty good and your character is quite good. Right, but to attack enemies requiring multiple hits, it's a must. Uh, yeah, yeah. She's using it now. You just have to get yourself lined up properly. Yeah. Wine. Floor wine. Oof, I'd like me some floor oh, wine. Oh, you can exit already. Oh, boy. We'll see. Lots of carryover to Gauntlet from this. Oh, yeah. So this was released in... April 1989, also released in PAL land. Most of these are released in PAL land. Uh, the real sports baseball and touchdown football were not, only North America. Also, the two Frogo games were only North America. Because Europe didn't want them. <laughs> oh, come on. I can understand the sports games not being released in Europe. Football? Why do we want Why football we here? Can I shoot that? Uh, eventually. You have to go down a bit. You're shooting the wall. Oh, what? 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 I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh! Oh! You just got hurt a lot. Oh! Okay, it don't hit that! It was a generator that wasn't generating. Very strange. Hmm. Oh! The second button is a bomb. So when you get in trouble, oh, there's another bomb. So when there's a lot of things on the screen, set off the ball. No key. No, no, for that one. Oh, that's the exit. Once you get the key. Ooh, that's what you need. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, nope. what? Oh, what? <laughs> you turned the heart into a ladder up that you can't use, but monsters can. Oh, that's uh, different. Okay, so that heart didn't do anything because I ran into it and yeah. it certainly didn't do anything. 
So instead of storing a monster type in health, it uses a single number. Somebody new to program might do as a first pass. Still good enough for APX and the Atari, and for the Atari to be inspired. Yes, it was released as um, Atari Program Exchange. All right, in 1983. Very, very cool. Yeah, that one's not too bad. It's a little, it seems simple. But, simple but fun but it, it, yeah. but it came from a programmer yeah and then a, and adopted by atari uh next one's fight night so fight night. it is a sports game where you're fighting accolade presents fight night crazy uh sparring um do main event crazy craven versus dipstick okay which one are you oh cool graphics it's released for the Atari, Apple II, Atari 8 bit, Atari 7800, and Commodore 64. So, up. I don't know what I'm doing. Up and button, throw a jab. Oh. Uh, down and button is throw a body blow. Left is fake a jab, right is fake a body blow. The other button, let's see. Clearly doing terrible here. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of... There's a ton of different um, different punches. So I would just figure out some punches and stick with them. Oh! Programmer got a settlement of a gauntlet machine. So instead... Uh, it's solid, but Atari Games killed it with gauntlet in the arcade. Oh, yeah. Gauntlet is unbelievable. Oh, should have gone to the next box boxer so we could see the graphics. Oh, it's a ticket. That's cool. They use the graphics to make a ticket for the event. I don't understand. Are you pressing the button in directions? I... There you go. You got one. There was. Maybe you have to hold it. I... Instead of... Um... You see if you can figure it out. Yeah, Atari's answer to Mike Tyson's punch out, but terrible. Oops. What did you do? I triggered the... Try to break dick dipsticks glasses. We'll <laughs> I'm do whatever trying. We, we can. This is a decent boxing event. Sadly, it ain't no punch out. Oh, see, so you're, you're getting more. You're, are you just I'm holding? I'm holding it. Oh, because like I was trying to hit it. touching it. I was trying to change. I guess holding it. Ah. What's going on? Break menu. Obviously, this game, you need to disable the break menu. Oh, no. Because uh, holding it is not being very nice. Oh, I hit him. Yeah, you hit him once. If he's anything like Thelma, but that is glasses, he won't be able to see anything. <laughs> oh my god, I should have disabled the brake. Oh. oh, you're hitting him now. Yeah. What are you doing? You're just holding. Yep. Close enough though. Come on, get closer. As soon as I get closer, he punches me immediately, of course. Oh, I'm doing better now. So it is definitely holding. Just hold. Oh, you're getting him. Getting him, you're almost there. Get him, get closer, get him, get him. Yay! So you That's, just hold and yeah, go up and down. Yeah, you do a bunch of different moves and yeah. hold it. Oh, stay down. Yay! Kid Castro next. Okay. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, the Stop break. hitting yourself. Stop hitting Stop yourself. Stop hitting yourself. I'm just going to alternate between high and low so I don't trigger the break menu. Uh, what's the break menu? The middle? Or? <laughs> it's the 7800 game drive that allows you to exit out of a game oh. or, or do cheats for the game. Gotcha. Which is cool. But, not. but somehow you're triggering it. I think holding um, the combinations I'm using. Oh, I see. Um, start triggering it. Really leaned into the hatred for Cuba with this guy. Quite Just possibly. Just a little bit. Quite well, possibly. Kid yeah. Castro. Hmm. Yay! Da, 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 da. Well, the up down seems to be working very, very well. So far in the uh, Hugh Hin Hin? Him? Him? 
Not enough pixels. Oh, all the stereotypes. Yeah. Stereotypes in the 80s and 70s. They're like, yeah, it's all good. Just gonna defeat this last guy. We're actually being able to play a game. <laughs> I'm sure in the higher levels, you're like, no, up and <laughs> oh, down. The dead. Problematic stereotypes in boxing games. I learned it by watching you, Nintendo. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. There are some special moves. He's like kicking me. Is he? He's like doing, like, look at that. Oh, he does have some special oh, moves. Oh, he's going to be. It's me. the body blow. It's mm. the body blow. Because the other guy had a body blow, too. Let's see if I can do any special moves before he defeats me, because he's going to. Can't seem to trigger anything except punch high and punch low. Yeah. Must be early UFC. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. True. Oh. Hi. Okay. Hi. Hi. Did you get treats earlier? Oh, I think you did. Ew. Exit and return seem to be the same thing. So we, we, oh. did, we did watch the uh, Stanley Cup. We were sad to see the Oilers not win, but they're not the Canucks, so, they're you know. Um... But Atari was very happy that his Panthers won. So yeah, did yeah. your Panthers we win? We tried to we tried to tell him they weren't actual cats, but he didn't seem to care. So no, he no. was like he just rooted for them anyway. Yeah. Next one is Ace of Aces by Nova Game Design, from May nineteen eighty nine. Ace of Aces. Please tell me this is. Oh, it's a flying game. Yes. I was like, is it cards? That's no, not cards. <laughs> it's that not would not cards. sell well. Not... Uh, okay, we're gonna play in arcade the mode. To the Stanley Parable. Yeah. Uh, go to missions. Uh, whichever one you want. That one, sure. Begin. Oh, you can turn them all on. Yeah. Go for it. Don't know what this means. Target. All the things you selected. Weather, cloud cover, weapons, load bombs, rocket cannons. Orders, east at 6,000 feet. Engage JU-88s. South at 4,000. Northeast to 1,000. Intercept train. Ugh. Most likely we will crash. So that is our orders. Oh boy. There are pages and pages of instructions I printed out that we don't even have enough time to read. But I do have instructions for taking off. That's your mission map. Study it carefully. Okay. Uh, press the right controller button to select the power on. Oh, just load, load it up. Plus, plus, plus. Plus, plus. There. More. Lots. Oh. How many? I don't know. Bunch. More fuel. Fuel. More fuel. Okay. Good. Plus, plus. Done. That's enough. We're going to crash anyway. Should I have more? Can I add anything more? Or is it too heavy? I don't know. Fine. I don't care. Whatever. It's too much. Klaxons. Sound klaxons! the klaxons. Woo! Fill up on ghost traps and bait. That's right. <laughs> Did you ever play Ghostbusters, the video game? V vaguely, and I don't think it's I the could, same could kind quite of screen. figure it out. Oh, you're already flying. That's a good thing. Um, that makes it a lot easier than trying to take off. So where's... How many feet so am I at? we had to go north, north or east, so I need to turn. No, nope, going down, up, wait, wait. So above the clouds, which is good. So let's turn. Let's go north, I think it was first. East? There's something east as well. Yep, that's the second mission is east. So is it north then? Yes, yeah, go north. It's like 5,000 meters north. Your altimeter's at 5,000 feet? I'm guessing. Oh, there we go. There we go. Back down. I'm confused. I'm very confused. My altimeter is bouncing all over the place. So we don't need to land. No, I don't want to go higher. No, go down. But no. 
How do I? I just want the altimeter to stay. <laughs> just stay it's it for windy. life. Must be windy. It's pushing you up and down. Oh my goodness. I was played a little long on the last one. Now I'm going into the ground. What 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 is happening here? Try and go below the clouds. Is is the is, am I at five thousand feet? I think so. Oh, enemies! Shoot! Shoot! Oh my God! You switched views. What happened? No! What happened? Oop! That reset. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You switch views all of a sudden. How did I switch views? One of the buttons must switch views. One of them must shoot. But I shot and then I switched views. And I'm like, oh, but no. I just shot. Did I kill him? Let's Am I just, done? Am I going just home? Practice. practice a dog fight. Press button. Yeah, you're going home. You failed your mission. <laughs> What's happening? Try, try the buttons right now. There, that's shoot. Don't press the other one. Uh, this game could win the ugly award. It's not super great, especially compared to like Dan Kitchen's game. That looked amazing in the cockpit. So there's the radar, and I don't see any. Oh, there's something. Shoot it! Shoot that plane! Shoot the. Oh, don't press the other button. Press left and right in that button or something. Right. Try some things. Did I get shot? Oh my god. Why are all these screens coming up? When you were just shooting. I don't know. Maybe because you ran out of few um, bullets and you have to load some more bullets? Oh my god, you opened the bomb bay doors. Gun, rocket. Okay. Fuel tank. It's weird that it switched to this view. You only pressed one button, right? Yeah. And then it all of a sudden switched while you're in a dogfight? Bomb suburban <laughs> Ottawa. <laughs> That's right. We don't know what we're doing. Oh, how did you get there? Just pressed up in the button. Up in the button? To get out of it. And now you're heading west. We were heading north before. What happened? And look at the alti altimeter. Are you, <laughs> it's broken. Are you flying towards the ground? Like, what's happening here? Oh, there know. it is. Come on. Back. So maybe I hit up and button. I just needed to hit the button. Yeah. Maybe. I oh. must have hit up in the button. Oh, he's very dodgy. Oh, klaxons are sounding. That's not good. Come on. I want to get... Yeah! yeah. Okay. We won the game! Yeah. <laughs> we won the game! Last game of the night! Another flight Ugh. simulator. This one's Super Huey UHIX. I'm guessing that's nine. From okay. May 1989. Oh my goodness, I hate play, playing games. Unless they're arcadey. Yeah, there weren't many arcadey games. It was all flight simulators and sports games today. They got they got all the arcades out in the first twenty. I'm scared to start this because this one was for the Commodore. C oh, this is arcadey-ish a little bit. In a plane? Yeah. Oh yeah, your altitude three hundred. Oh, shoot the helicopters! Shoot those pixels. The engine again to rise to a thousand feet. Oh, you're at a thousand feet. That's good. Oh, I think he hit that one. Yeah, getting somewhere. He's locked on. How do I get out of here? Oh, not locked on anymore. No, not towards the ground. Go get those helicopters. Oh, you're a helicopter, that's yeah, why. Yeah, you are a helicopter. Okay. Oh, 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 to the right. Get him. Yeah. Oh, 
doing much better in this game. Well, uh oh, locked on. I don't know nope, what that means. Not anymore. You're in a tailspin. That's what not I'm a trying to find. Paper. It's the last game anyway. Is it? What are you doing? I are you don't shooting know. the ground? No, I'm not shooting anything. I'm just trying to figure out where the things are. I guess I turned away from them. Yes, you did. There's a radar at the top. Oh, there's my radar. They're trying to stay away from me. I'm just like... You're a threat. Eliminate. Enemy. One last one. Or two. Oh. oh, they keep coming. Oh, there's so many. Kills of eight? Is that correct? Ten? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's keeping track in the top left. It's funny, your ammo goes up and down. Is there somebody actively loading in more ammo I in guess your so. helicopter, I guess? The enemy helicopters are black because all bad guys in old movies dress in black. That's true. Oh, black hat, white hat. What yep. are you going to do? Makes it easy. Hi. Ah, ah. Hi. Hi. Ah, cat, cat Hi. tail in the face. <laughs> he ah. says, I'm helping. Oh, that guy's moving away. Oh. He knows you're... You killed 13 of his friends. That's yeah. why he's running away. Yeah. Who has infinite helicopters, by the way? <laughs> Apparently the enemy, because you're that... That, that much, that good of of uh, a fighter that they have to have. It's like uh, it's like uh, stormtroopers. That's right. We we just fought, watched the end of season one of the Mandalorian and quite enjoyed the quite enjoyable. Uh, oh, the jokes, the jokes, the in jokes uh, with the the stormtroopers not storm able to shoot, not, not being able to shoot able anything. To aim. I thought that was very well. They implied it's their blasters that yeah. are defective, which yeah. makes a lot of sense now. Yes, it does. When you have we to um, equip thousands, if not millions, of stormtroopers with guns, it's going to be expensive. You're going to cut corners, and the blasters are going to be like... Phew, 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 phew. So if you give them enough ammo, they'll eventually hit something. Uh, and who was that actor who was one of the stormtroopers? We had to look it up after... Uh, the guy who's in that I'm soccer um, series from SNL? On, on yeah uh, on Apple TV, um, it'll come to me. Yeah. Uh, anyway, oh, okay. Well, you're not dying in this. <laughs> I've almost lost all my ammo. But it reloads if if you oh very slowly. No, it it, it doesn't reload very quickly. Yeah. Sedakis. Jason Sedakis. Thank you. Thank he you, was one of the two in that scene where they try to shoot, I don't know what it was, a can or something on the ground, and they just kept shooting and shooting. They couldn't hit it. It was pretty funny. Yeah, it was. I'm like, that has to be someone famous. Oh, oh yes, R.I.P. Carl Weathers. He was quite, quite, yeah, quite decent. Yeah, he's very good, very good at it. At points, Suits him. A points a little little bit over the top with the acting. It is Carl Weathers. Though. But most of the time, he was quite good. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he's in season two, if he made it to season two, or uh, I'm no, not I, sure I think in the he timeline. Would have, when did he pass? It wasn't that long ago. It wasn't that long ago, so no. probably season two. Well, we will continue watching it. Okay, you're done this game. It's an interesting game. Yeah. I, I suppose they will eventually come and get me. <laughs> I, I am know. getting hit now. Oh, are you, where's your... Yeah. I'm, I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. Like, I have yeah. some intent or purpose here that I don't yeah. know. So that is the next 20 games. Uh, mm, uh, mixed bag. I mean, I'm not too enthused about sports games in general. You, you got my opinion but as we yeah. were playing those. Um, games I enjoyed? Well, it's hard not to like Impossible Mission, even though they made it un unwinnable. Yeah, it's... Um, it's Place it touch version. different than the than the Commodore sixty four, but still fun. Graphics were decent. Um, Mario Brothers was passable. Yeah, it's fine. Super skateboarding. That's I like that. I actually want to keep playing that because that seems more like a puzzle maze puzzle maze, maze puzzle yeah. game. Um, uh, I also really liked the water ski was interesting. I didn't like I, it. I didn't like it, but I thought it was interesting. Uh, Tower Toppler. Yes, I would play, play more that. of that. 
all the little the platformer ones and the the puzzly ones i think i just lean to yeah i i like crossbow with a light gun it's yeah it's because you're able to boom boom but all the things appearing on the screen it's quite a lot of stuff cracked i think as well probably fantastic light gun with, game with the i think it's mouse I don't think it was ever a light. Game. Really? Yeah. It should be a gun game because I think it that should. would a maybe mouse too, would be much easier. I think gun with that is too easy. Maybe that's why they possibly. Yeah. It says it similar, but it uses a mouse. It uses a mouse. Yeah. I could see the mouse definitely be easier than the, the controller. Too. Yeah. Um, Dark Chambers is Gauntlet. It's not a bad game. No, it's, it's fine. It's like a totally fine pre Gauntlet. Yeah. Um, Fight Night, I think, if we understood the controls, wouldn't be too bad. Um, uh, but yeah, I think the wrestling one was more interesting, though, with the moves. Yeah, there's more going on. There's more the going on. I mean, it, it just takes time it, it to kind of learn. It didn't have any special moves, though. It was, no. like, straight up wrestling. Well, so, it had special yeah. moves, but, like, it would take a bit of time to learn them to actually have two people play it and actually effectively... Yes play those moves it was more fun to try and figure out the moves than to actually <laughs> fight maybe yeah wrestling is it is about fighting but it's not really so it's I, about the show i played a number of wrestling so, games in the know. 80s on my commodore 64 and yeah. there were some games that did have a lot of special moves which yeah. was a lot more interesting that's more fun but like they had characters that had specific moves for yeah. those characters yeah 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 and that was missing that yeah that's so there's true. a handful of games that i would play again yeah. Yeah. on this and a handful that are interesting and then a bunch that i do not care about i really don't care about uh, sports games unless they're more arcadey side i'm not for simulation sports games too much well especially if you, you need a big sheet to memorize <laughs> all the defensive and offensive yeah like placements for your for your characters and and all the strategy if you love that kind of thing great oh but and there's it's lots a of lot, people who do it yes so sports that's games fine. sell like crazy but those that that type of game takes quite a bit of um commitment to yeah. to figure out it's how to play it well so yeah yeah, yeah. i'm not gonna frago no really we made 7800 games yeah yeah um yeah tank command was very poor very like hey let's make a tank game what happens in tank games you shoot let's throw things in you shoot at yeah oh he needs fuel that's it yeah. that's the game i did love that he just sat there without fuel for a very long time minutes before he actually was killed by something the enemies are just like <laughs> nope do do nope, do 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 nope. <laughs> i i agree double down water ski looks very interesting um the controls are very very sensitive it was actually working much better when yeah. we were both playing it at the same time it's kind of a fun two two man game i think that would be but a that's great not even game. though that wasn't the intention it very fun for two people to try and figure it out there's an arcade game where you play a firefighter and you drive the fire truck and there's actually two sections to the fire truck the hoe is in the fire truck no the two steering wheels because on oh. fire trucks there's a rear steering wheel and a front steering wheel oh really where you steer the back like a, a segmented fire trucks oh on on really big ones maybe they don't have maybe them old ones i'm sure it's all old done ones, yeah. electronically now but interesting yeah. oh um, neat if you remember the seinfeld episode where um kramer is steering the back of the fire truck in one episode really i don't remember like, that oh, at all oh, atari fire truck there, there we you go, go. <laughs> <clears throat> what if bb was developed by those years lots of much better games would be released um i mean yeah yeah the 70, 7800 <laughs> is a great console yeah now yeah there's really great homebrew games yeah. i'm so glad that it exists but it had a tough tough run yeah. back in the 80s i like gamma Death. frago no really we made 7800 <laughs> games yeah we swear we did yeah nobody bought them but yeah we did the uh, tiller truck so uh next episode is tomorrow actually oh, um nice. and we have two exclusives tomorrow uh it is the final exclusive final build of flap ninja which we have never played on the show yet mm -hmm. it's very new um, but it has been a demo has been released, but we have the final version and we also have the exclusive final build of frazzled and Also, we're going to play a finish off with robot Z, which we haven't really given a really good playthrough mm. on the show Which is beyond me why we haven't done that because it's oh, I love this game um, It's like Mega Man Except on the 2600. Mm. It's like a really 
um, perfectly suited version of Mega Man for the 2600. I, it's so much fun, made by Sprybug. So we will be playing that. Excellent. And trying to win. Because I've gotten really close okay. on earlier versions of it. Um, this one's a little bit harder, but uh, there's like eight bosses, and you make your way through the world, just like Mega Man. You get different weapons that you use on different enemies. Yeah. A uh, small ritzy subdivision near here has a tiller truck due to smaller neighborhood oh, streets. There you go. Oh, is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, next Friday, there's no show. Um, but then we come back and don't know what's on happening. The Tuesday? Still figuring it out? Still figure out that Tuesday mm -hmm. after the Friday. That may stay. It may. If, it, if Tony arrives in time, we're getting a retail copy. Mm hmm. In the mail nice. of Tony for the Atari 8-bit. Um, so if that arrives, which it may, it's coming from Europe, takes a little while, mm -hmm. then we will keep that on the Tuesday. Otherwise, we'll be flipping things around. Um, but we have an exclusive work in progress update of Bernie and the Tower of Doom. Bernie. Bernie. Don't look at Bernie. No, no. He's like, oh, Bernie. I forgot about Bernie. Uh, that's on July 5th. And then on July 9th, we have an interview. Developer Spotlight, which we haven't done in a long time. Oh. Uh, Steve Englehart, nice. Atarius Maximus, plus a secret homebrew exclusive world premiere of Atarius Maximus's new 7800 Ooh, game. Yes. So that's a very exciting. I don't know what day that's on. Oh, it's not even on the screen. <laughs> There's all the stuff. Um, everything we've been talking about. Uh, so let's see. <gasps> what is the night? No, don't go after Bernie. That's a Tuesday. So you will be here for that. So oh. you'll be playing through a bunch of games, a selection Love it. Love it. of Atarius Maximus okay. games because he has made dozens and dozens and dozens. So mm -hmm. we will not be playing all of them, but we'll be doing rapid fire through them. Mm -hmm. But we'll be mentioning them and talking with Atarius Maximus as well. So that'll be a lot of fun. So uh, thank you for hanging out with us tonight for the second out of three shows about the Atari 7800. So the next show will be finishing off all the games for the 7800. There's 19 more to go. Okay, we're almost at the end. Very close, yeah. It's nice because uh, it's not quite as big as uh, the 2600 where we had to do 550 games. That was a lot of games. <laughs> that was a lot of games. Do they get better as we get towards the end? Let me look. Have you looked? <laughs> I, I haven't I'm curious. looked intently. But let's take a look uh, at some of the games. There it is. Let's see if I can just bring up the spreadsheet for everyone. Oh, that works out well. Um, so we finished off with Super Huey. Oh, it's being all garbagey. Wonky. There we go. Nope. Come on. Figure yourself out. There we go. Uh, so next is there's Jinx, there's Rampage, okay. Xenophobe, Xenophobe. Oh, a lot more arcade games. Nice. Commandos Arcade, Xenophobe Arcade, Double Dragon, Kung Fu Master. Those are all arcades. Nice. Golf game, yay! Two golf games in a row. Ninja Golf. Nice. Which you're fighting and playing golf. Mm. Uh, Motor Psycho. That's a uh, um, truck game. Yeah. <laughs> a Planet Smashers, which we played, which we won't be playing, I don't think, because that is a light gun. Meltdown, I'm not familiar with that. Alien Brigade, I think, is an arcade game as well. Basketball, basketball. arcade basketball. Fatal Run, car game, Akari Warriors, an arcade game. Rest, another wrestling game. Wow. Midnight Mutants, not familiar with that. I believe that's an RPG. Hmm. Oh, Sentinel's the light gun game. There you go. And it's only PAL. We did do that uh, on our light gun light game, gun so show. we won't be playing that. Scrapyard Dog is an arcade style game. Nice. Uh, Double Dragon and Kung Fu Master. So, so bad on the 7800. <laughs> well, looking forward to that. Yeah. Thing. Bad games are fun. Uh, if Sometimes. Double Dragon is in the third set, they don't get better. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. So uh, don't know when that'll be. Uh, we'll schedule it. Try and get it done sooner rather than later, because it took like a month or so to get to these again. Oh, we'll get we'll get to these a lot sooner, I think. Yeah. yeah. There'll be more time. There'll so thanks more time. for hanging out with us. Yay. Crunch the Clown. Double down. Vitoko. Uh, 
Gamma Dev. Chitlidla. Um, Beer Pocock. Beer Pocock. Steve C. New name. Welcome. Cyrano. I know it's Kev oh, is in there somewhere. Crypto it's coffee. Kev. Crypto Coffee. Who else was talking? That's it. Made it to the well, top. Well, thank you for joining us today. Dan nice. is still here. Thank oh, you, Dan. Dan. And we're going to do a big Atari face. Come on. Gigantify. <laughs> that is so awesome that they have Gigantify. <laughs> That's so, so cute. cute. Oh, my um, goodness. So uh, thanks for hanging out with us. We'll be back tomorrow. Uh, for an evening show. Yes. Not quite as late as this. Two hours earlier. Yes. Normal normal time. So um, we will see you tomorrow then. And have a great evening and day tomorrow. Yeah. So we'll see you then. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Have a good night.